much for all your efforts. Orlando, let me ask you, aren't you proud to be American and don't you love your freedom? For these freedoms, for protecting our Constitution, we thank our vets, the United States military. Those of you who have served, we salute you. We thank you, United States military. Ah, it is so good to be here. And as we recognize and appreciate those who have defended our freedoms, it occurs to me how much Alaska and Florida have in common, though you may not think a lot of similarities. We do. We do. And going coast to coast, you know, the patriotic, hardworking, unpretentious, job-creating Americans who are here and Alaska and everywhere in between. I was thinking, you're, you're lucky. You're going to get to learn a little bit more about my state here in the coming weeks because there's this docu-series thing coming out. We, listen, okay. We taped these eight episodes about a place that is near and dear to my heart, and all about the pioneers and the independence and the development that's needed and resources, and a place that I have spent my efforts and all my time. It's called Sarah Palin's Alaska. And the producers are already ready with their sequel. And it's going to be based on a place that's near and dear to our president's heart. It's called Barack Obama's Golf Courses, and it starts taping sometime November 2012. Look for that. Look for that because, uh, you know, Victory 2010 is just the beginning, folks. Michael and these folks are going to lead us to Victory 2012, too. He'll have plenty of time for golf then. Truly, it is so great to be in the Sunshine State, where positive change truly is just around the corner. And, you know, as an outsider looking in at Florida, I think you all have some pretty simple choices to make, some, some pretty easy decisions around here. You can either vote for the status quo, that means more taxes, more unemployment, more regulation, more government overreach or you can vote for those policies and those people that will put Florida back to work and America back to work on November 2nd. Yes. Choices you have to put Florida and all of America back to work. What this great country needs is a little bit of good old Reaganism. And Michael, as we had to do last week in, in California, we had to explain a little bit to the media why it is that we do quote Reagan so often. Because there have been some reports lately about, geez, what is all this Reagan stuff? Why are they always talking? And, um, well, you know, you're not going to hear us invoke Alinsky or Ayers or Mao or Wright. We're kind of a Reagan sort of crowd around here. That's why we quote Reagan. So. I shall be invoking Reagan's name again and again and again because what Obama, Pelosi, and Reid have created for us is a blueprint of things that don't work in this country. They don't work to get our economy roaring back to life. Whereas Reagan, he gave us an agenda and a way of thinking that does apply to what is right and what is work because his way of thinking, which we need to apply today, was based on some common sense Reagan principles that were based on time-tested truth. Simple things that he believed in because they work, and that's lower taxes, less government intrusion and overreach, smaller, smarter government, and remember the national security policy back then, as Michael still spoke of. And that national security policy, it was lived out by your native son and his good brother, Jeb and GW. Remember what he lived out too? The national security policy of we win and they lose. Now the momentum is with us. The momentum is with us, but now is not the time to let up. Now is the time where we dig deep. Now in these last 10 days is where we work extremely hard. As Michael said, we exhaust ourselves. And it really, it feels good to exhaust ourselves, to know that we are going to do all that we can 
to get that vote out, to walk the precinct blocks, to drop the literature, to make the phone calls. It's up to you as volunteers to get that vote out, doing all that you can for November 2nd to get the vote out in order to put our government back on the side of the people, to turn things around and get America back growing, thriving, prospering. As Michael said too, you know, it ain't over till it's over. These last 10 days, we can't be thinking that we got it in the bag. We can't get cocky about this yet. You know, we've we gotta keep on working extremely hard. We've got to leave the dancing to the stars. You caught that. Soon we'll all be dancing, we'll all be celebrating because I have faith that Florida is going to make the right decisions. The simple choice is to put America back on the right track, to get Floridians back to work by electing the right people who know those time-tested truths that can be applied. Now, this is when we kick it in gear. We have to dig deep. We have to know, these candidates have to know that you are there for them, that you're doing all that you can in order to get that vote out you got to put in those 16, 18, 20 hour days. And it, it does feel good to know, especially on November 3rd, that you are doing now and that you will have done everything that you can within your power to get the vote out. And it's in order to restore our republic and to renew America. We have life and death choices coming up on November 2nd, policies that are hinging on who it is that we send to Washington, D.C. and that we fill up our state houses with. This is paramount. This is the election, I think, of our lifetime. It is that important that we do all that we can. We have to do all that we can because our ground game for the next 10 days is going to make the difference between winning and losing. This is about saving our republic as we know it and as our Constitution intended it. And our, you know, these the sacred documents, our Declaration of Independence, the, the meanings within that, knowing that equality and respect for life and respect and reward for that strong work ethic that is part of America, respect for liberty. We are talking about life and death decisions that are going to be made based on those who are elected on November 2nd. Winning means that we secure our nation, we secure our free markets, and we secure our freedom. Restore American exceptionalism. So let me ask you, Florida, are you ready to secure our freedoms? Are you ready to fight for freedom? Yeah. Are you ready to take it back from an out of control Congress who refuses to listen to you? we should do with our employee, she is to be working for you, with our employee Nancy Pelosi. What should we do with those folks who just, oh man, they have spent more than seven million dollars, seven trillion dollars, heck a million, a billion, a trillion before long, we start talking about real money, seven trillion dollars in just the last two years, incurring more and more enormous, unsustainable debt. They did all that, and yet they couldn't even muster the effort to pass a budget, which is their job. What do we do with employees like that? We fire them. They couldn't lift a finger to stop the largest tax increase coming down the pike in U.S. history come January 1. These tax hikes that are going to slam us to the mat, and they are going to force so many of our small businesses to tap out. With employees like that, thinking like that, what do we do with them? Fire them. And these politicians who ought to be working for you, you are their employers. What do you do with any employee who is not doing their job? Fire. That's right, you fire them. You fire Pelosi, you retire Reed and their whole band of merry followers. And we get back to putting America on the right track. Talk about needing a do-over America, a reset. We need that reset button now as it applies to Congress. Now, what do you think that we should do with a Congress that shoves European-style health care down our throats that nobody wanted and we can't afford? 
and takes over private industry, shoves the mom and pop small business interests aside, and ultimately what that does is erodes the American entrepreneurial spirit and that work ethic that we teach our children. They do all that and yet they can't answer the simple question,